So, good morning, my lovely students. I uh, hope well, you guys are just doing fine. Today, we are going to discuss the second part of our uh, exercises regarding our grammar lesson, which is reported speech commands and requests in your students' book on page 116. So, please grab your books and let us start. And for the meantime, let me share the book with you in order to start our lecture for today. So here, I believe that you guys have the screen in front of you and we'll go to the second section. Um, to exercise one and it will be a participation class so please just raise your hand in order to answer the questions and let me see hands for the first question in here our instruction is uh, exercise a read the pairs of sentences and underline the verbs that here in both. So here we have sentences and we want to um, underline the verbs in these sentences. So let's see hands in here. Uh -huh. I'll start with Farah. Good morning, dear. Let's go ahead. Don't be late for work, his boss said. His boss told him not to be late for work. Thank you. Fill in your Can you tell me? Thank you, dear. Can you tell me the verbs in this sentence? Said and told. All right. These are the reporting verbs and the main verbs in order to change our sentence from the direct into the indirect or to the reported speech. The verb be. And I like be with. A be late. Yeah, I like be late in both sentences, right? Yes. Thank you, dear. Let's go to number two in here and I'll have Yusuf. Uh, <clears throat> fill in your details uh, on this uh, on this form, please. The man said the man asked me to fill in my details on the form. Thank uh, you. Yes. The verb is uh, fill in. And I like the verb is fill in in both. Sentences in both sentences. Yes, that was correct, my dear Yusuf. Let's go to exercise B in here now. Complete the rules. So uh, we uh, have discussed the rules for the commands and requests, and now we are going to uh, continue our sentences, our rules in here, and check if they are correct or not. So let's go to A in here. And I want to see more hands. Yes, Juan, dear. Juan. Okay, I believe you have got something wrong with your mic. So until you fix it, I'll choose another student. Let's go, Yam Hanna. Yes. Uh, we change. Can you please raise your voice? Imperative. Uh, we change the imperative uh, in command. Into command. And request. And uh, request. Uh, and request. Uh, to full infinitive. In reported speech. Yeah, and I like to a full infinitive in reported speech. Thank you, Zaina. Number B or B. We use we usually use till as the reporting verb for commands. Thank you, dear. And let's go to the third one in here, and I'll take. Uh huh. Same hands, Yusuf. Okay, uh, we usually use uh, ask as the as the reporting verb for requests thank you yes dear we usually use ask if we want to 
uh, asked regarding something if uh, we want to request something okay. thank you dear and can you please yeah, use a read that note okay be careful, be careful uh, all other changes that occur when reporting statements also apply for commands and requests yeah thank you dear let's go to exercise c in here and the instruction is Apart from say, tell, and ask, which are our reporting verbs, when we want to report our direct speech sentences, we can also use other verbs to report what someone says. And I believe they are the list that we uh, have taken and we explain at the end of our presentation. Underline the reporting verb in the second sentence below and i'll take let me see in here do you have a new hands nope okay let's go to farah one more time i gave you my word that i will help you she said she promised to help me uh, the reporting verb is promised the reporting verb is promised yes dear thank you let's go to the next exercise yeah Zena. Complete these sentences with advice or reviews. Before completing them, Zena, can you please tell me the meaning of advice or review and reviews? Advice, it means yansah. Yes. And reviews, dear fault. Thank you, dear. And could you solve the exercise right now and then read the note? Okay, teacher. I won't accept that, that job offer, he said. He refused to accept the job offer. Mm -hmm. You should apply for the job, he said. He advised me to apply for the job. Okay, thank you, dear. Uh, let me ask you a question before reading the uh, notes in here. What is the word, okay, what is the clue that made you choose the first one from the uh, direct sentence or from the reported sentence? Because here is I want, so he refused to accept that job offer. Yeah, and like so the word or the expression won't or will not, yes. And in the second sentence, you should apply. So, so it's it, like an advice. Yeah, and like so the word should, yes. And can you please read now the uh, note? Be careful, the reporting verbs advice and refuse are followed by an infinitive. Other reporting verbs are followed by a gerund. For example, the man denied stealing the money. Yeah, I know, Lucky. Thank you so much, dear. Let's go to the next exercise in here. And they want us to change the direct speech into a reported speech sentence. So I would like, let me see here. Juan, did you fix your mic? Dear? Can you hear me? Yes, dear, go ahead. Okay. Uh, make an effort to finish the report tomorrow, he said. He told us to make an effort to, fi uh, to finish the report the next day. Yeah, and I like it. The next day or the following day. Thank you, Juan. Let's go to number two in here and I'll take Noor. Yes, teacher. Don't forget to, pl uh, to place an advert for the job vacancy. Vacancy? She told me not to forget to place an advert for the job vacancy. Yeah, and I like you. Thank you, Noor. Let's go to number three in here. Yes, and you? I'll take... Uh -huh. Do you have new hands? Not really. Okay, let's uh, go back to, uh, uh -huh, we have Vicky in here, yeah, yeah, Vicky. Please be on time for our meeting this afternoon, he said. He asked me, yeah, Vicky. Yes, teacher. He asked me uh, to, uh, to, uh, to be on time uh, for our meeting this uh, afternoon. Thank you, Vicky. But this here will become what in the reported speech? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, that was correct. He asked me 
to be on time for our meeting that afternoon. Thank you so much, Vicky. Let's go to uh, the next one in here and I'll take your lamb, Hannah. Get in touch. Yes. Get in, uh, in touch with the, the... Yes. Ah, oh, okay, okay. And don't good. waste. Yeah. Uh, don't waste uh, time uh, surfing the uh, net uh, during work. During? During work uh, hour, hours, hour, yes. uh, the manager said the manager told us, uh, no, the manager uh, told us uh, not to waste time, uh, waste time, uh, suffering, uh, surfing, surfing, then it. Uh, during or hour. And I like, thank you. So here the manager told us not to waste. What's the meaning of waste, guys? Hadir. You don't hear? And I like, thank you. Surfing the net. What's the meaning of surfing the net? Istikhdamil internet. Searching the net. Yes, using the net. Thank you. During work hours. Yes. Thank you, Mahanna. And here we put not because we do, we have the word do not or don't. We have don't. Thank you. Let's go to number five in here and I'll take no new hands. Huh? Farah, go ahead. Get in touch with the sales department for information. The shop assistant said, the shop assistant told me to get in touch with the sales department for information. Thank you, dear. Yes, that was correct. And what's the meaning of assistance? Musaide. Musaide. Or Musaide. Thank you. And let's go to number six, the last sentence in here. And I'll take late in number. Yes, teacher. Uh, she asked me to make an app Can you uh, appointment read the with the. Can can you please read the sentence first, the direct sentence? Okay. Please, uh, please make an uh, ap appointment uh, with the manager if you want uh, to see him. Uh, she asked me to, to make an appointment uh, with the manager if you want uh, to see him. Okay, if you want, she is, she is asking me. So the pronoun you will become what, yeah, uh, like? Uh, her, him. Oh. If, okay, she is asking me. She asked me one more time to make an appointment with the manager if. Why? if here, you, the pronoun you, if she is asking me, so me will, okay, we will change the pronoun you, okay, she's not asking you, or she's not asking him, she's asking me, so the subject pronoun, okay, regarding here the object you, oh, okay, when it, uh, when it will be me, so what will be the subject pronoun? Regarding me, who can help him? Teacher, can I? Yes, go ahead, Ya Farah. I. I. So here our sentence will become one more time, Ya Lai. She asked me to okay. make an appointment. Yes. To, to make an appointment with the manager if I want to see him. If I want or if, okay, we will, we want to go one step back with our tense. So want will become? What? Wanted. Thank you, dear. If I wanted to see him. So she asked me to make an appointment with the manager if I wanted to see him. What's the meaning of appointment? 
موعد 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 yes uh, yes a meeting to uh, schedule a meeting with the manager thank you dears let's go to the last exercise in here and we have to change the direct speech into reported speech using these reporting verbs let's look first at the uh, reporting verbs that we have and discuss them and then we'll solve the exercise so what's the meaning of advice yes yes and what about apologize deny because Yenfi, we say that we have another reporting verb which is ref refuse refuse yeah and aleku offered reminded and what about suggested thank you dear so let's go to sentence number one here and i'll have do we have a new hands in here let me see no okay go ahead yanur i didn't i didn't make a mistake in the report the accountant said the accountant denied making a mistake the accountant in the, the accountant denied making a mistake in the report so what is the rule in here after our reporting verb? Okay, did we have an infinitive, a full infinitive? Uh, or? A gerund. A gerund. A gerund. A gerund. Thank you. So our verb with the ing and it's a gerund. Thank you, dears. Let's go to number two in here. And I'll have, I'll have, uh, go ahead, yeah, Juan. Remember? Uh, remember to lock the door before going home, he told me. Uh, uh, he reminded me to lock uh, to lock the door before going home. And Aleki, and what's the rule in here? Is it a full infinitive uh, or a gerund? Uh, no, a full infinitive. And Aleki, thank you, dear. Let's go to number three in here. And I'll have, I'll have, uh-huh. Zena, go ahead. Uh, let's see, promote Mrs. Jane, teacher. What is this name? Jennings. Jennings, to manager, said the director. The director suggested uh, promoting Mrs. Jennings to manager. Yeah, I know, Ricky. Thank you, dear. And the next one for Yusuf. Shall I call? Uh, shall I call the applicant? 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 Applicant, the secretary. The, the secretary. The secretary asked. The secretary asked. Uh, no, uh, the secretary. The secretary offered uh, to call the applicant. To call the applicant. Yes, dear, that was correct. So the secretary offered to call the applicant. Was the meaning of secretary? Secretary. Secretary. Thank you. And what about yeah. applicant? الشخص اللي بيبحث عن وظيفة أو الطالب للوظيفة. قدم للعمل. Yes, الذي يبحث who is searching for a job, who is applying from the word, from the verb apply. I'm applying for a job, so I am an applicant. Thank you, dears. Let's go to number five in here, and I'll have uh huh. Same five students, Farah, Zena, Juan, Noor, and Yusuf. Okay, it's up to you guys. Let's go to one more time, yeah, Farah. I'm so sorry that I'm late for work again, she said. She apologized for being late for work again. And Aleki, and what was the rule in here? A gerund. Thank you. Thank you. And so here we have the Reporting verb apologized with a pre preposition. Preposition. preposition and then we have the gerund. Thank you, dear. Let's go to number six in here and I'll have uh -huh, we have Vicky. Yalaya Vicky. You should get a reference from your last employer. She asked to her brother or she said my bad to her brother. Yalaya Vicky, she uh, she uh, uh, advised. 
uh, should get uh, a review. She uh, advised who, yeah, Vicky? She advised her... Her brother. Uh-huh. To? Her brother uh, to uh, defend from your last empl employer. Employer. Thank you. Yes. So employer. she... Yeah, and I like you, Vicky. Thank you. So she advised her brother <laughs> to get a reference from his previous, because your last, it will become previous employer. Okay, and what's the meaning of a reference? Merja. Merja, and I like an employer. Wadifa, Muwadha. Muwadha. Okay, here we have. Sahib al Aman. Yes, here we have two words. We have employer and we have employee. And the difference, what is the difference between them? The word employer, okay? And the word employee, and the employer is the person who employee the employee because here employee okay it comes as a verb and as a noun you got it yeah you got it yes teacher yes thank you dears uh, i believe we're done with the, the uh, exercises in our students book and now we will go to the exercises on our uh, workbooks so please grab your workbooks and let's uh, we have two more exercises uh, on page 63 so let's go back to page 63 your workbooks and let's solve the exercises in here and complete that text with the correct form of the verbs in brackets here we have a paragraph and we want we have verbs in brackets we want to put them in the right form in order to have a, a reporting speech paragraph let's start with let me see here joan go ahead dear Anne and kate Anne and Kate were having breakfast when Anne drew Kate's attention to a job uh, advert in the paper. She asked Kate if she saw it. Uh, if she had seen it. Yeah, and I like if she okay. had seen it. Okay. And uh, please, dear, until, uh, read until the follow stop. Yeah. Okay. Had seen uh, it and... and told her that they. Um, they were looking for a for sales assistant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Let's continue in here and yalla ya Farah. Hey, um, Kate wondered whether they needed part-time staff. Thank you. Continue, dear. Um, Anne told her she should find out and that it would be the perfect job for her. Mm -hmm. Kate, Kate, asked, asked. Yes. Kate asked when the last day for application application was and Anne informed her it was the following Friday. Thank you, dear. Let's have another student in order to continue in here, Yazena. She also offered to help her with her CV. Kate yeah, asked, okay. interested, uh, she, uh, Kate asked Anne to pass her the paper. Mm -hmm. Thank she, you, dear. And can you continue until the end of uh, the work in here? She read the advert herself and decided that she was definitely interested. Teacher, should oh. I continue? Uh, interested, where are you? She heard, okay, she read. Uh, um, no, that's it. Let's have another student in here. And, uh huh, Yala Noor. She prepared. She repa uh, prepared and sent her, uh, off her CV. A week later, Kate, Kate received a phone call from Bellworth 
uh, they wanted to know if she was still interested in the job. She told them that she was, and they asked her if she could come to an interview the following day. Yeah, Thank you, dears. Yes, that was correct. Let's um go to the last exercise in here, which is changing the sentences into reported speech using the verbs in brackets. So they give us the reporting uh, verbs which they want us to use in order to change our sentences from direct speech sentences into indirect or reporting or reported speech sentences and the first one will be four let me see in here mm -hmm. let me see do you have new hands no not really okay so let's have yusuf yalla yusuf uh, we won't help you they said uh, okay they refused uh, to help me they refused to help me. Yes, Yusuf. Do we have another um, option in here? If you was singular, you said they refused to ask me, right? If it was plural, yeah, Yusuf, they refused to ask or to us. help? Us? Us, yeah, I like yeah, Yusuf, thank you. So here, if you was singular, we will insert the pronoun me and if it was plural we will put us we will put us thank you yusuf let's go to number two in here and i'll have yalea vicky i'll definitely meet you tomorrow said penny and we have the reporting verb promise uh, teacher uh, i a uh, uh, promise no, it's not I who is promising, it's Penny. Penny, said Penny. He. Penny. He. Hola. Penny. Uh, Penny. Penny, Penny prom, uh, promised. Uh-huh. Promised uh, to. Uh-huh. Uh, to uh, def definitely. No, I want the verb to. Yes, teacher, meet. To you meet? Uh, to meet you not tomorrow. Uh, you Yes, and it will become. Tomorrow will uh, become the day what? Uh, after. The day, the day after, after the or the after? following day. But here she after promised. Day. Yes, but here Penny promised who? لما أنا أحكي إنه هي وعدتني أنا. So um, is it you or me the uh, pronoun in here? Me. It's me. Thank you, dear. So here Penny promised to meet me the following day or the day after. Thank you, dear. Let's go to number three in here. And I'll have. Juan, go ahead. Why have you applied for this job? The interviewer asked me. The interviewer asked me uh, why uh, I had applied for this for yeah, that job. Yeah, why I had applied for the job. Yes, and number four, Yazena. If I were you, I would stop working night shifts. Dr. Flock said he did, he advised me to stop working night shifts. Thank you, and Farah, the last one. I didn't take the money from the cash register, said Albert. Albert denied taking the money from the cash register. Thank you, thank you. Yes, that was correct. And I believe with that we'll be done with our exercises and we will done with our uh, grammar lesson as a whole, which was regarding that reported speech uh we will have a little quiz i believe uh next week i will assign it for you later on and also i will provide you with the answers for all students in order to check your answers and if you have got any um question you guys can ask me regarding our uh lesson and here 
And do you guys have any question now before leaving you to go and prepare yourselves to the, for the next lecture? No teacher. No teacher. All right, so you guys have a nice day and please stay safe. Yeah, thank you.